Shields up, Iron Breakers. Brookhan here coming at you with another video. Welcome back to Sunbreak, and today we're going to be talking about how you can go and make your own mixed set in the game. Before I begin this video, though, I feel it is important for me to mention there are currently millions of players around the world playing Monster Hunter, and among those millions of players, you will no doubt encounter people that appreciate playing the game in a different way than you do. So just because I'm going to tell you how to min-max your skills to the nth degree does not mean that you should impose those viewpoints on other people. If they want to wear a full set and just, you know, play the game using that full set, that is their choice and you need to be respectful of that. Do not go around saying you should do it like this because Rurikon said that you should do it like this because that would be a terrible thing to do. You should try to help out your friends, but you should not force them to play the same way you do or enjoy the game the same way you do. Now, having said that, if you want to, you know, really min-max your skills, let's get started with this, shall we? Now, first I'm going to show you guys how to do this stuff in-game, and then we're going to be switching gears, and we're going to be using a third-party tool. And by third-party tool, I'm not talking about a mod that's going to modify the game or anything. It's going to be a website. And I'll explain why I want, you know, I'm, I've started using this website when we get there. But first, we're going to get to the in-game method. So usually you will have an armor set equipped on you. So in my case, I just equipped high rank leather armor because I didn't want it to mess around too much with stuff. But essentially, this set is going to have a certain amount of skills. And if you go to status, you will notice that, okay, with this set we have geologist, hunger resistance, evade extender, special ammo boost, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, when you go into Manail and you start talking about, like, you know, okay, I'm going to forge an armor, I'm going to figure out which armor I want to forge, when you start previewing the armor on your character, and you can do this by pressing the uh, up faceplate button, it is going to reflect the skills that that armor piece has on your set. So, like, if we actually go, you'll notice that we now have Divine Blessing, whereas if I remove that, we no longer have Divine Blessing, right? So when you start previewing these armor pieces, it's going to start showing what skills you'll get if you have these armor pieces previewed. And this is a nice way of just like being in the game and testing out, okay, so what if I mixed Kimura Legacy hat with Leather Vest X, with Chain Mail Gloves, and with Kimura Obi, and these legs, what skills would I get? You'd get Botanist, Defense Boost, Divine Blessing, if it extended Resuscitate, Critical Eye, Stamina Surge, Recovery Up, Geologist, Wirebug Whisper, and Spirit Bird's Call, because we also have a amulet. So obviously there's going to be stuff that is going to kind of like corrupt your analysis a little bit because for instance right now you're seeing evade extender and none of these pieces actually gives evade extender right if you notice and oops sorry about that if you notice and we go through you'll see that in our skills it will show evade extender and you're like but none of these pieces gives evade extender okay so one of the first things that you'll want to do is you go to your item box go to manage equipment go to change your equipment and you'll want to unequip every piece of gear that's usually the way that you want to start that includes your talisman as well unequip everything the one thing that you can't unequip is your weapon so just make sure that your weapon doesn't have any uh any decorations placed on it and now you have a blank slate if we now go and watch at our skills there's nothing there because we don't have any armor skills see this is one of the best ways of going about and like actually testing stuff out so if i was to equip oops did i craft that i hope i didn't craft that so if i was to go ahead and just equip full kimura legacy i will get the skills that you would get from full kimura legacy and you can then test it out dude jesus christ i really need to Oof, switch muscle memory, man. But, uh, you know, then you can also test stuff like this out and figure out, okay, so this would be the skills that I would get if I was to craft this particular set with the two Kimura leggings, the arms and the bracers here. And so you'd get like a preview of the skills that you will acquire if you happen to craft this particular set. But naturally you're like, okay, yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but none of these sets of skills that I want. So another thing that you can do is you can press on the left faceplate button, which in my case is square, and that is going to allow you to search and sort these armor sets according to skills that might be desirable to you. So let's say, for instance, you want some attack boost. Boom, there you go. You got the Jaggy Bracers here coming in with attack three. Uh, you're going to preview that by pressing the top faceplate button. You're going to have the Hunter set here, and the boots are going to come in with attack boost two. You got the chest with attack boost one and the head with attack boost two as well. So you can go like, okay, I want these two. And now we've successfully maxed out attack, if that is something that you want to do. And at this point, you're like, oh, let's actually go ahead and look for something else. So let's say, okay, now I want to get weakness exploit. All right. 
we can get, uh, you know, maybe the Zenogre chest here. It's looking pretty good, right? It's got two weakness exploit. And then we can do the Zenogre head. Did we do the head yet? I don't know if we did the head. Anyways, and so at this point, we can now go and we can, you know, just revert stuff to default. And you'll notice that we now have... Um, put this in a piece that we have we now have attack boost five we removed the the helmet but whatever we now have attack boost five weakness exploit three and if we were to craft the pieces that we just did we'd have this stuff so you can search through skills here and you can test stuff out and you can like kind of make your mixed set organically just in the game by searching for the skills that you want and it will sort uh according to those skills so like if you go to attack boost once again notice that all the pieces that have attack boost will have an exclamation mark this works for all skills so this is something this is like an organic way of you just building your sets now um, this is the way that I've always kind of done things back in World and Iceborne and even Base Rise. I would just cycle through the different armor pieces that are available in the game. I would figure out, okay, this piece has this armor, this piece has that, this piece has this, this piece has that. And then I would just like do the mix set and boom, done. The set is done. I now have all of the skills that I could possibly want. However, if you go back to older games, older Monster Hunter games, it was considerably harder for you to actually get those mix sets done because because each set would give you like, oh, this gives plus two to this skill, this gives plus three to this skill. And you would need to get these skills in increments of 10 or 15 or 20 in order to really get uh, the actual skill itself. I mean, I don't know how many of you guys know how it used to work back in old Monster Hunters, but basically suffice it to say it was much more complicated and the skill system was not as intuitive as it is right now. So back in the day, at least back when I, I mean, I say back in the day, I'm talking about Generations Ultimate here, but I believe that there was also a tool similar to this for like for you and stuff like that. But for Generations Ultimate specifically, I would use something which was called Athena's Armor Set Search. And anybody who's played Generations Ultimate will probably be familiar with this little piece of software. In, also, it... Uh, carefully spells out Athena's ass, which <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that is uh, intentional. But anyways, the reason you do that is because the skills were much more complex. Now, even though in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, the skills are not nearly as complex as they used to be back in the day, one of the things is for sure, and that is that you can get a metric ton of skills if you optimize correctly, including, for instance, the first set that I've done for my um, for my gun lance, the one for bullet barrage, that was one that I just did by looking at armor pieces and putting it together. Well, I've since then used this third party tool that I'm gonna be showing you guys and I was able to squeeze a couple of more uh, skills out of it because look, at the end of the day, doesn't matter how smart you are, doesn't matter how good you are at recognizing specific armor pieces, a computer looking through these armor pieces and making calculations is always going to be significantly better than you at it. So, the tool that I'm talking about is uh, a Sunbreak Armor Set Search, which is in the, the wiki. I'm going to be putting a link to this if you guys want to check it out and if you want to do your own mix sets using this. And this is extremely useful because the way it's going to work is it has all of the skills that are currently available in game. And you can basically select what level of skills you want to have for each of the skills that is in the game. And then choosing between those skills that is going to make an armor set for you. So let's say, for instance, okay, I want to I wanna make like a defensive gun lance build, right? You're like, okay, I want guard five. I want guard up three. Obviously, I want my uh, gun lance stuff. So we're going to want artillery three. We're going to want, uh, let's say, low shells three, if I can find it. And I sometimes still struggle to find, but hey, here's the special trick. You go, you press control F, and then you can type find and page, find and page, and you go load shells, and it finds it for you. So you go like, okay, load shells level two, and this kind of like covers our defensive abilities as well as a lot of our offensive abilities. Then you can be like, okay, I want to spam bullet brush. Let's get wire bug whisper. Let's also go ahead and grab some redirection which I believe is somewhere around here. The thing is, because I resized the website, some of the stuff I think is also in different locations, but there we go. So, and let's say, okay, this, this is looking like a, a pretty nice set. So you go ahead and you hit search. 
And if you get this yellow thing, it means like you could probably squeeze out a whole bunch of more skills in here. So let's go ahead and do, okay, let's also grab protective polish maybe. Let's grab some speed sharpening. Boom, search again. Still tons of stuff means you can get even more things added into the set. Let's, uh, I don't even know what else to put on here because I was just like trying to come. Oh yeah, let's put Evade Extended 3, of course. And let's do it again. Boom, still tons and tons of things that you can do, right? But this will basically give you what your set would be looking like. Let me try and find something that's a little bit more basic, like this one. You got Basarius Helm X, Basil Goose Helm, and, and it also sorts it by defense. So like if you were to do one of the upper ones, you get 638 defense. If you do this one, you get 632. It'll tell you which pieces you got to do. It'll tell you where you have to like put your different gems and stuff like that so that you can slot in and get all of the skills that you wanted. It gives you all of that. Now, an important thing is that this is also using a couple of charms that I've already added to the website. So you might want to add some of your better charms in here. So if you see you got search, then you got armor set, and then you can go to charms. And if you go to charms, you'll see, oh, okay, so you have Wirebug Whisper, three part breaker two and two two zero. I mean, you guys are gonna have your own charms. I'm gonna go for one that's common that you know, at least I think a lot of people tend to have this one. You wanna go ahead and pop in like let's say weakness exploit. And you go, and in here, you can say what level of weakness exploit your charm has. Let's go ahead and say that it's got two. Let's put no other skill. And then you can choose uh, what type of um, of decoration slots your charm has. So let's say that this decoration, uh, this particular charm would have a level two, a level one, and nothing else. You can just add this in. And basically, whenever the software is doing its calculations, it will look for your charm. And it will also, you know, look for, okay, I can put certain skills in here. So let's go ahead and, you know, use this charm for this set. It basically adds your your stuff into the list almost as if it was an armor piece. And it does the calculations of the skills that you want to get based on that. Uh, you also can choose your weapon slots because obviously different weapons are going to have different weapon slots. You can go, okay, my weapon has a uh, tier one, a uh, tier two decoration and a tier one decoration and boom. And you do that and it'll basically do all of the calculations for you. Now, let's say that for some strange reason, there would be like a, a certain armor plate that you wouldn't want to get uh, among the stuff that you got here. I believe that this was the one that we were using. Or like, all right, uh, I haven't unlocked the sailor outfit yet. So you can actually just go ahead and do exclude this armor piece. And then you can search again and it will no longer show pieces that use the sailor's outfit. As you can see, it's now using different things to achieve the, the calculation, right? So you can even like exclude certain armor pieces that you don't like. Maybe they have a skill that you're not interested in because there are certain skills that can have negative effects on you. And maybe one of those armor pieces has one of those skills. And you're like, okay, I don't want that skill. You can remove that, you can exclude it. Or you can also pin it. Say for instance, okay, I really want, uh, you know, I really want to see the solutions that include the Basario's Helm because for some reason the Basario's Helm is some skill that you really happen to like. Then you search again. And you'll notice that now all of these include the Vesario's Helm. So you, there's a lot of potential to utilizing a tool like this. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. And again, like I said, this is something that I wasn't really using uh, back in World and Iceborne and even Base Rise. Because it was fairly easy to see most of the combinations that you would use. But in Sunbreak, it is very easy to get lost because there are so many different armor pieces that give you access to so many different armor skills that if you really want to min-max, you're either, you're, you're either like a super smart big brain dude or you're not going to be able to, to just consider every single armor piece that is in the game and its possible combinations with other armor pieces that are in the game and also combined with some of the better charms that you have to produce the desired outcome for your build that is definitely something that i've been uh that i did multiple iterations of as i was working on the build for the switch axe which like i said i'm going to be working on switch axe i want to do like a switch axe guide at least a tips video for switch axe for people that want to get started with switch axe in uh sunbreak so you know I've, I've definitely spent a lot of time messing around with this tool and even just like optimizing my gun lance builds. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If it does, then make sure to hit it up with a like because it helps me out quite a bit. Subscribe, bell notification icon, all of that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe.
Peace out. <laughs>